So you want wide, huh? Well, I don't think it gets much wider than this. Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Grown and Healthy, the channel where we explore self-improvement through movement. Now, one of the core attributes of a barefoot shoe is the toe box and it being foot shaped. And for people with wider than average feet, I'm excited to review this shoe for you. The Witten Men's Wide Minimalist Barefoot Sneakers. I know a mouthful. I've been testing these shoes for a few weeks now and I'm ready to share my thoughts with you. If you're looking for a minimalist barefoot shoe, keep watching to see if these are worth your investment. First, let's talk about this design. These shoes have a casual but minimalistic design with a wide toe box that allows for natural toe splay. They are roomy without looking exaggeratedly wide. The upper is made of a breathable mesh material which keeps your feet cool and dry during workouts and warm weather. Now, while breathable on the sides, this velvet lining, while smooth and well padded, is not as breathable in those sections. So around the heel, the tongue uh, aren't as breathable as of course the side and the forefoot. The shoe also has a removable insole, beneficial if you're transitioning from conventional to a barefoot shoe. The footbed is exposed stitching to the outer sole. The outer sole is grippy with recessed hexagonal lugs that keep a casual appearance while being able to take on light outdoor trails. Next, let's talk about the fit. These shoes are designed to be a wide fit, which is great for people with wider feet or those who like more room in their shoes. The shoe has a secure fit and doesn't slip off the heel. However, I did find that the sizing was slightly larger than my usual 11 and a half men's fit. This roomy feeling could be attributed to the width of the shoes and also that I removed the sock liner. So I recommend checking their sizing chart before you purchase. By far, these are the widest shoes I've worn and reviewed. The sizing for this pair is a men's 12 or 46 in European sizing. It is 119 millimeters at the forefoot and 83 millimeters at the heel. The outer sole is five millimeters, including these sole lugs. Now let's talk about comfort. These shoes are incredibly comfortable, especially during workouts. The barefoot design allows for natural foot movement, which is great for improving foot strength and balance. Now, this is a wide shoe from heel to toe. There's ample room to let your feet rest. The upper is spongy, adding to the feel of comfort. The shoe also has a smooth interior fabric that feels much like velvet. It makes the shoe very pleasing to wear, especially on long walks. I felt comfortable running with them, but the sizing being so much wider than my foot gave me diminished agility. So I wasn't running many miles in these, mostly walking. Now with inner sole removed, it is a better ground feel, which is essential for a barefoot shoe. There is no art support once the inner soles are removed. The grip of the outer sole is adequate for most gym workouts and movements. It is also fairly light and maneuverable. You can see here, a previous Wittens that I reviewed, definitely much wider than this. And not only that, the shape of this shoe in comparison also plays a role. You can see that this is far more tapered at the forefoot than this. So I believe that even the normal variant should do well for a slightly wide foot up to double E. But if you find that you're on the border of double E, then pick the wide variant. And of course, if you're wider than that, this is a no brainer. In the matter of this shoe, I would definitely, if I were to repurchase this, get this in a wide variant just because of the change in the design. This tapered front is already uh, too narrow for my liking. So the wide variant uh, probably is more significant for my comfort in this variant than this. That being said, I prefer this styling much more than this. 
Not only does this have these artificial bolsterings that become a pain after a while, especially if the sizing is a bit narrow for you, but also the idea that they have not forced an instep on this shoe. Now, lastly, let's talk about the price. These shoes are reasonably priced, but the price has fluctuated between the time of my purchase and the filming of this review. So what I'll do is provide a link in the description below so you can see the current price for yourself. They were a great deal, especially when compared to other barefoot shoe brands. The shoes are durable and will last you a long time, making them a great investment for your barefoot journey. In terms of quality, the gluing on this was as good as I can expect, especially coming in at this price point. I saw no issues. I still don't even after weeks, I'd say almost a few months of wear, and it still looks as good as the day that I bought it. Now, overall, I would highly recommend these shoes, especially at the price in which I bought them, which is around $40. They're comfortable, durable, and reasonably priced and they allow for natural toe splay, especially if you are one of the wider feet and you're looking for a minimalist barefoot shoe that won't cramp your toes, I would definitely consider purchasing this. Thanks for watching. This has been Grown and Healthy, the channel where we explore self-improvement through movement.